Hello, Monsters of here, and welcome back to Total War, Warhammer 3. Pardon you. And part 17 of my Nakai the Wanderer campaign, where we're currently weathering the the, the war to end all wars. Having crushed Skarstick's forces, we're now replenishing our numbers, as it looks like we might be fighting uh, Azhag. No, no, uh, Wurzag, that's the one. Where's Ag next? I think Grimgore's dead, which is probably just as well. Archaeon's wandering around though, so you know. And Village has um has taken some stuff. Now, I should say that I think someone in the comments said, oh wait, he, he can teleport. I know he can teleport, but in, in the realm of chaos, you, you couldn't teleport across the bastion. You couldn't you couldn't teleport near the bastion, basically. Um but it seems like maybe that's not a thing anymore and you can just teleport across because village is often seen wandering around Cathay like you know uh, weird hobo conjoined twin thing kind of reminds me of um, of um, what was it Total Recall you know you make me wish you had I had three hands baby not, not that particular one. More like, you know, quaint. The little, the little, little tummy guy. Tummy man. That one. Okay, you are automatically doing your thingy majigs, which is fine. I am going to need to wait for assistance to take out the awakening at the moment. So, you know what? We're going to come over here and attack Luther instead. While we continue to head north, I really need another army here to deal with these guys. We do have Oxyotl. I don't know how much use that's going to be. So I need so I need something to deal with this this problem here. I will not disgrace my ancestors. I guess we have kind of been. I might, I might no Kai. I might need to send you south unless I can recruit another army. I might have to recruit another army here. We might we might need another army. I don't know. I'll I'll mull that one over. Mull that one over while I concentrate on. Also, I meant to move you. Never mind, it's fine. I wonder if we could, like, get a military alliance. Oh, we can't get a build any outposts, can we? Which is kind of bullshit, to be honest. Like, one of the one of the best things about Warhammer 3, I would say in, like, the top five changes they've done, is outposts and being able to recruit allied units. The fact that the Kai can't do that is, one, weird, and two, just stupid. Weird and stupid, those two things. Hello, hello, beardy man. The damsels agree a treaty would be wise. Oh well, if if they if they said it, then I'm fucking in, baby. It's not going to do you any good. It's not going to do me any good. But I guess maybe it's because people can't build outposts with Nakai. Is that the? Oh fuck me. How many armies have you got up here? Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh, uh, is that is that two more? Sta it is. Two more stacks. Okay, good. Um, I'm at war with you guys. Are you really? Clan Moors is mighty. You are not not. Are you at war? I guess. I guess. I guess you're at war with these guys. Or not? I thought you would be by default. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you haven't met yet. Maybe that's the reason. Uh, no, you've got diplomats. Okay. Oh, you've got treaties with them. The fuck? No, you don't. Or maybe you had in the past. What the fuck's going on there then? Ugh, don't know. Don't know. Not gonna worry about it. It's not stress. Let's not stress. Let's just concentrate on the here and now, shall we? So, Roger. I'm going to move you up here. And I'm going to set you in an ambush. And I'm going to just deploy you and see what happens. I mean, what? I mean, we could maybe do an ambush here, but there's also we've also got rats to deal with. So, I mean, oh god, oh, we really need to deal with all like I need to deal with all of this. 
Chum then, messing you. I need to I need to clean out Lustria. Mop this all up. And then I can concentrate on, you know, murdering the unending tide of of evil that is the Greenskins. Okay, we're going to go south and mop up the dwarves. Oh, I guess I'm going to deal with Rakarth as well, aren't I? I mean, I don't really care about the settlements. Like, losing settlements isn't really a problem. Okay, I'm going to bring you down here. Oh, we've got s just crawling with Skaven agents, so. Right, is everyone, everyone okay? Everyone got maxed shit? Yep. Okay, let's, let's do something like that. See how that goes. Uh, we could do this. I just don't know if that's going to be actually that useful at the moment. I don't think it is. The walk. Uh, All here. Uh, okay, is there anyone who's going to, to like... Okay, you are going Bye. to... Let's hear what you have to say. I don't we need the money, bow. to be honest. All right. So, Rickard, what brings uh, you before the air of Lund? All right. Fine. All right, good. All right. Approach as friend. I will. Good. Okay. Uh, the trees. I guess even the trees yes. are like, oh, God. That's, like, that's a lot of orcs. Well. That's Obey. a shit ton of orcs. Forgive me for fraternizing with unbelievers. Uh, I'm a crocodile, mate. Will be... Who calls? I'm a fucking crocodile. Okie dokie. So, we can see kind of what's going on uh, a little bit better. This, see... Okay, Festus is still causing, causing some issues. Uh, looks like Vlad is dead, which is a bonus. But Wurzag is... Oh, hello, Scarbrand. You're, you're also causing shenanigans. Okay, well, at least these things aren't going all, all the way of evil. Dwork, I want you... Actually, I want you down here, because I want to know what the hell Scar sticks up to. I want to know where his cities are. I want to know what he's shitting out. Not literally. I don't want I don't want an update on, on his, his, his battle movements. Unless that's pertinent. I don't think it would be. I could be wrong. You want a peace treaty? <sighs> I could do that while I mop up. Well, I think I might have to. I'll kill you later. Don't you fucking worry. Okay, we got the ambush. Fantastic. That is what we needed. Uh, eeny, meeny, money. Uh, mo. Good. Let's kill him. Nothing kills goblins better than dropping rocks on them. Ooh. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. Right, we've still got hordes of orc biggins. Not to mention the Ratnrock Spider. Fortunately, the Ratnrock Spider is getting absolutely shredded by the Razor Dons. They do do good work. Oh, down to 500 hit points. Is it going to get away? It might get away. I think it's going to get away. Never mind. Looks like uh, the Doom Diver catapults are being dealt with. Now we're moving up to help with the sort of blob up here. We do have the Bastiliador and the Arcosotec fighting like three characters. Not particularly a good idea for him because they will just kick the shit out of it. In fact, that's exactly what's happening. So we need to kind of like knock out these enemy characters. I don't really have anything to do with them because my, my Sara Scar veteran dies and I didn't replace him. I should really replace him. This army does not have any character sort of like killing capability whatsoever. So we're going to protection of Quetzal, the Bastiliodon. And apparently these these Razor Dons really want to melee him. 
for some reason. I don't know. That's fine, I guess. Probably no point worrying about that. Some whirlwinds coming out, helping out, finishing off this little blob of enemies. Cyrus Warriors holding firm against the New York War Boys, who do only have 9 million second, 1 million defense, which is not particularly good. So they're getting mauled. Pretty short shrift from the Cyrus. Okay, I think I think we're good. Knocked out an army. That's good. Need need more like that. Okay, light damage across the board in exchange for the destruction of an entire army. I will take it. And we got the Scarecrow banner, of course, best banner in the Mother Shopping game, bitches. Uh, let's take all the replenishment. Thanks for the pick me up, guys. Oh, and you are marching. Hello. Uh, right, you've both got war armies. So that's that's going to be a giggle. It's going to be quite the giggle. Uh, okay, what I want to do here, we've got that one, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to give you that, that, and then we can have Flamestorm, I think is what I'm going to go with there. And you know what, Transformation of Kadon, not the worst thing that you could have. Okay, you've taken Karakazul. So this, 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 now this, this is going to be a bit of a tough fight. Uh, is that going to give you, okay, so Red Crest is going to get a boost. I do quite like that. Twenty nine. Wait, do you get any abilities that increase like, oh yeah, you do get the Warrior's Crest and shit, don't you? But you don't have that at the moment. Okay, I guess you're going to have that one because reasons. Do you want some of that? Yep. Okay, good. God, we've got a lot of shit here, haven't we? So probably worth mixing some of it to make some better shit. Potion of healing is never a bad thing. The Cube of Darkness is kind of wank. Uh, Earthing Rod is, again, kind of shit. Helm of Discord is... Oh, they, that is quite nice. I mean, Camper's Armor's not bad, but... Ooh, a Maiming Shield. Talisman of Preservation, very good. We'll grab that. Uh, what do we need? Enchanted. I mean, spell less spell resistance? I guess grab that. Uh, you know what? Curse the Midnight Wind. Sure. Roger, you kind of need Dedium of Power. Oh, it's just not very good, is it? Let's... Oh, do I have something else ticked? Yeah, got that one ticked. Okay, fuse those. Sort of anti heroes. Um, why can't I tick that? That's weird. I can't tick the Sword of Hornets for some reason? <laughs> why? Alright, never mind. Let's fuse those two. What do we get? The other Trickster Shards. Again, not a bad little item, but not great on you. Uh, this it. Oh, 
I can actually fall like a... It's like Plunk, actually. The Sacred Stegidon Helm. Just give you that extra charge bonus. 91 charge bonus. That's that's a good amount of charge bonus to have. That's that's genuinely not bad. The height of the cobalt is kind of kind of shit, but I guess we'll keep it. Uh, should we try fusing these ones? Can we get a blue thingy? A stegodon war spear. Good if you are on an ancient stegodon. In fact, very good. Eventually for cricket, assuming he survives. Assuming he survives. I'm going to give that to him, because otherwise I will forget to give it to him. So I'll give it to him. Uh, you can have a couple of... You want to raise a standard? Have a raise standards. Do you want one? Yeah, gleam pennant. Yeah. Uh, do you want a fan waiver? Have a fan waiver. Don't really need that. Don't really need that, because we're not fighting either of those. An administrator. Sure. All right. Let's go with that for a minute. All right, cricket. Go get him, son. Oof, 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 oof. That's a lot of shit. Where the fuck did you get a lava run rock spider from, you complete bastard? Where the fuck did that come from? Is that your war? You're warring now? You can't war on top of everything else. You fuck me. They are. Fuck me, they are warring. Uh, uh, okay, okay, we've got a couple of big fights potentially going on here. So, right, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll worry about that, that that whole knife fight in a second. Right. Okay, we're going to take Oxal back, then we're going to get Thrice Curse Beak, then the Mine of Bearded Skulls, and then we'll kick the shit out of Rakath. While that's happening, I'm going to move over here. Here and uh, take out this this. Don't know who that is. Uh, genuinely, just it's like a blank space where a face should be. Come on, mate. You need to get a little bit closer than that. Come here. Uh, right, we're going to. What I really want to do is... I mean, you will be tired. Oh god, that's so much shit to fight, though. That's, lud that's a ludicrous amount of shit to fight. That's like four fuck... I mean, okay, on, on the plus side, like, the war is mostly filled with trash. Still, this is like a wave assault. The Green Tide cometh! So, we're up against four armies here. I think the, I think the, the total count is about 6,000. 6,000 Greenskins to kill. Fortunately, they are advancing on our position. Which means we can sit back and wait for them. I'm not corner camping, but my army is large enough to basically fill the space of of the entire map so i don't really have to worry about being flanked but there is a little gap here so we're going to bring down the sacred croxagore to potentially deal with those night goblin squeak hoppers that are trying to flank around we've also got all of our cavalry flanking around on the right there trying to get around behind the enemy army maybe do a little bit of harassment oh bit of a charge as the squeak hoppers and the sacred croxagore start battling each other these guys got 52 weapon strength holy fuck I mean, they're getting wrecked, but the Croxagore are actually taking a little bit more damage than I would have liked in this instance. This is not like I was hoping to wipe out that unit pretty easily, but they're actually, uh, they're actually fighting back. All right, managed to pummel them, send them scarpering. The rest of the enemy infantry is on its way, though. Taking a little bit of missile fire. Our cavalry hunting down some goblin wolf riders. I say they've, they've still got like two stacks to come. It's, it's a lot of stuff.
We managed to cap. We've actually got a speed of 82 compared to their 90. Is it 82? 80, 86? 86 speed. We managed to catch them. The Goblin Wolf Riders are going to get absolutely eviscerated by the the old horned ones there. Uh, we don't. We're sort of blobbing in here. It's not what we want. We're going to break out, surround this blob, and take it out. If we can wipe out these four units, five, six units, uh, we should be in pretty good stead. Cyrus holding the line against the goblins there. Although, having said that, the Cyrus is actually taking quite a lot of damage for some reason. Jesus Christ. Where did that come from? Fucking goblins with 45 weapon strength. Jesus. Okay, the horned one's coming in. Getting a lovely little surround there. Very nice. Okay, it looks... I think we should be able to wipe out all of these units. Still taking a lot of missile fire. The enemy general actually getting shot down there by the the Oracle, taking him down. Okay, a little big engagement on the left flank. The Sarus trying to deal with Black Orcs and Orc Ball Boy Biggins. That's going to be tough for him. Those Black Orcs, heavily armoured. Need a little bit of support there. In goes the Whirlwind. Is it a good idea to do the Whirlwind so close to my own own line? Well, I guess we'll find out. The answer to that is almost certainly no. Terrible idea. That is going mostly through my own Cyrus. Ow, that's going to sting. But we do have a big break in the center. Although our center is also sort of breaking. We've got some Black Orcs that need to be dealt with. The Ratnarok Spider fighting Thyrus is winning that fight. He is anti-large though but fortunately we do have assistance. There's a big break in the centre. We are hunting down everything we can. Uh, some units on the right flank fleeing thanks to the cavalry. We need our cavalry not to be chasing them down though. We need them to come and sweep up through the enemy line and take out all of this fleeing missile infantry if we can. We still have a problem on our left flank. While the enemy center broke. The left flank is still doing very well. Their right flank, I should say, is doing very well against our left. Those black orcs just chewing, chewing through our Saras. Saras can't really do much in, in return. They do have good weapon strength, but they're really struggling against that armor. Fortunately, we do have the Razor Dons. As soon as we've got a break in our line, the Razor Dons focus fire on that unit and wipe it out. Here comes the cavalry, literally sweeping across the retreating enemy units trying to kill off all that all that missile infantry now we don't want to kill too many units at the same time because if we do that then uh, lots and lots of enemy units will come flooding onto the battlefield we want them to just be a gentle drip just gently feeding into a killing ground Okay, so far, so good generally. Some units coming back on the flank over here, which we need to deal with. Those goblins are actually doing surprisingly well against the Blessed Saurus. Genuinely don't know what... I mean, melee attack's fairly similar, but we've got much more melee defense and armor and weapon strength. So we should be doing much better against them than I, than I figured. Although these biggins, yeah, they're, they're quite killy. They're quite killy. So we have to, make, we have to maintain pressure on those flanks to make sure we do wipe out those units. There's a, a few units here that look like they could be in trouble. Some sacred crocs are getting chewed up by those orc war boy biggins. And those black orcs still, still at it. So we're moving some units to assist. Meanwhile, Plunk is tr trying to kill the enemy night goblin war boss. And is kind of now stuck in melee combat with a horde of trolls and black orcs with more and more units just charging towards him. Fortunately, the Oracle does have a little trick up in his sleeve, which is, of course, the the Comet. To be honest, the more units we catch with this, the better. So, yeah, come in, come in, get tight. Ooh. Well, that'll do it. We've also used the protection of Pretzel on old Plunk there to make, keep him safe. Okay, we've got a lot of cavalry on our left flank here, just mopping up these goblins, who again, surprisingly resilient. And Plunk just seems to be, like, gathering a large ball of green skins around him, which actually we can use in our favour. If we can just drop a whole bunch of nasty shit on them, like Flock of Doom, like some more comets, you know, that kind of shenanigans. Nice. 
then basically we can do a lot of damage very quickly. Looking at numbers here, they're up to 6,000 green skins on the battlefield. I mean, 2,000 at the moment. We've managed to wipe out 4,000-ish. And we're down about 800, so they have been taking chunks out of us. A lot of our units are fairly half, well, half dead, basically. They'll charge on the left flank as we wipe out the Savage Orc Boar Boys and Goblin Wolf Riders. They're trying to flee out of the way. Plunk is still maintaining this large blob of, of greenskins around him. Now backed up by Slog, who's helping. There's a lot of dead greenskins surrounding them. And yet more spells. More of that shit. Yes. More stuff. There comes a banishment. Very nice. Doing some good damage there. Splattering green skins all over the place. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Yes, they they just keep on coming. There's no end to them. The horned ones and the pock pack cohorts. I think they're almost spent. To be honest, they have lost a lot. I mean, there's, there's some sacred crocs go over six members, but they're almost dead. More and more green skins appearing, and now a giant. Dwellers Below is apparently now really, really, really good. And uh, yeah, that is killing a lot of guys. Big health damage across the board. Killing a... Ooh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a lot of dead green skins, Plunk. I mean, you're up to 133 kills, which is very good. But more importantly, you just kept them busy. Okay, the cavalry now coming in to attack some Black Orcs who are currently trying to beat their way through some Cyrus Warriors. They'll charge there on the back. Should cause a rout. Oh, very nice. Yep, that seems to have done it. Yep, they're, they're routing. They're out of here. Okay, Plunk has freed himself. And it looks like the tide of greenskins is starting to slow. Which now, I mean, I think we just need to do a push. We're going to do a push. Everyone is just charging straight into the green skins. In comes the cavalry, trying to drive a wedge deep into the oncoming reinforcements. That looks like that has done it. Morale dropping across the green skin hordes. And seeing a horde of very angry lizard men now charging towards them and all their dead brethren. Looks like the greenskins are fleeing the battlefield. Okay. Uh, we lost a couple of units of Saurus, which comparatively I will take I mean at least everyone's going to level up very quickly they don't really have a choice divine plaque of protection oh. okay I mean we've still we've, we've got you know we've got Skaven issues on top of this I don't know if the Skaven are actually fighting the Orcs. They don't seem to be. But I could be wrong. Um, okay, they're re-recruiting. But my guess is they're not spawned armies. So they can only recruit what Skarstick has the ability to recruit. So maybe that's fine. Uh, let's... replace our losses which for the moment we can do with blessed units I genuinely think those horned ones um, incredibly good incredibly good very useful so we definitely want to, to have some of those in every army it's good for like wiping out those missile units like, crush the main army, sweep in, knock out those missile units, and then use them to sort of, like, pick off reinforcements as they arrive, I think is probably the best, the best shout. Uh, 
Uh, spell resistance, I'm not super bothered about that, but having lightning strike would, would probably be pretty useful right about now, just to be on the safe side. You never know. You never know when it's coming. It's useful. So we'll take some of that. And uh, I think maybe armor for you. Might keep you a little bit safer. You've pretty much got everything. I guess you cleanse corruption. Not that we're going to have a lot of corruption around here, but... I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to go rally with you. Did you only get... Really? You only got only got one one skill up. Really? Is that it? Slog. You are definitely a scarred veteran. Particularly after that particular engagement, uh, we'll give you arcane vessel as well. Okay, are we okay here? Do we need to maybe fall back? Could we push up, knock out that army? Probably wiping that army out is. It's probably a good shout. All right, let's go. What's, what's going on over here? Did I move these guys? I genuinely can't remember. Okay, yeah, so we're going to kill the dwarves. I mean, that's easy. Killing dwarves, not a problem. Dwarves is not an issue. I don't think they can reach here. Yeah, moving in, into range of that is probably not a good shout. We need some time to recover from that victory, I think. Meanwhile, I think Cricket is going to have to take on... Oh god, Scarsnick's here. This is Scarsnick's lot. Taking on Scarsnick on top of everything else. Jeez. Do we, do, do we think we can do this? Reinforcements in 130. I might just lay siege. And see if they come out. Unless... Because you've... Because you're laying siege there. Can we kill that army? Okay, so we can wipe you out. Ow! Son of a... Bitch! That's smarted. Okay, I think we're just, we're gonna lay siege. We're gonna keep we're gonna continue the siege here. We're gonna see if we can finish them off. Just siege them down a little bit. I think that would be that would be good. Because we can heal up. So scooch down there. Something wrong with your aid. You you are not taking attrition. Why is that? I mean that looks that looks more manageable now though. We did take a bit of damage. Probably should have fought that battle, but I didn't. So what do I think about this? Do I do do we can we do this? Is it worth just maintaining the siege? Seeing because if they come out of the settlement, that's gonna be easier for us. Do they have walls? They do have the walls, don't we? Because otherwise. Yeah, you see, I all right, we're going to build siege equipment. They'll probably come out to attack us. If they do, that's fine. However, we have managed to push Scarstick's forces back. Let's have a look at strength ranks. So, Crooked Moon is now strength rank 5. Bone Rattlers at 4. Looks like they've been having some problems with Zhao Ming. Although, Zhao Ming's forces have now had to pull back to deal with Archaon, which means they're being pulled off that front. Uh, yeah, we've got Chaos Forces spilling in from the north there, so that's that's bad news there. Uh, meanwhile, Wurzag is, is having a great time. He is, he's got 11 settlements. He is absolutely kicking the shit out of everyone. Uh, everyone else is, is weaker. Uh, and the worst part is that all of the... Uh, all of the orc factions seem to be spawned mostly sort of bordering the good guys. So like Nagarond up here, nothing. Lustria, zilch. So it's all kicking off sort of in the badlands around here. And also in Bretonia as well. So we have to remember that, that uh, Grom is here. And it looks like he has expanded because you can see our allies are currently targeting settlements on the coast 
of, of Bretonia, which suggests that they have actually, uh, Grom has actually succeeded in capturing a large swath of Bretonia there. What? So that's, that's not good news. Uh, can Welcome we get military alliance with you? Greed. Your private what now, I'm sorry? Words. Where's Bretonia? The light of the lady. Yes. Uh, the supplicant you don't want a military act. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I might, have, I might have put this difficulty up too much. 200% might be too much. Might genuinely be too much. Right, we're gonna we're gonna maintain the siege over there. We need to recover over here, and we need to. I'm I'm semi tempted to pull Nakai and Gorok out of Lustria, because retaking Lustria feels like less of a priority than dealing with the never ending stream of greenskins. And I think we need Nakai and Gorok over here to lend support. So I'm I'm half tempted to just be like. We'll we'll come back and retake Lustria at, at a at a future date. But you needed you needed back in the Badlands. Hey, buddy, join your war against those guys. Uh, I mean, all right, I can do that. I mean, may as well. Yes. You, okay. You are. Oh shit, son! You've got lightning strike, haven't you? Still, it does say we can win. It does say we can win, but they do have... They've got two Arachnorok Spiders and two Rogue Idols, and I genuinely don't know what I can do against those, apart from hope for the best. It does say Peric Victory, though. Oh, cr oh, plus you've got the Settlement Garrison joining in as well. Shit. Oh, I should have known Scarsnake would have fucking lightning. Hey, wait. Oh, no, because you always have lightning strike, don't you, Scarsnake? You always have lightning strike. It's kind of like your base thing, isn't it? I'm fairly sure, because you don't have any blue skills. You've got one blue skill, one campaign skill, so you shouldn't have lightning strike, unless lightning strike is the first skill. I don't think it is. I think you still get movement skills. I'm genuinely not sure, but apparently Scarsnake is lightning striking us, so that's... Cricket! Um... Oh wait, our reinforcements are coming? Or aren't? What? I don't think they are. I think it's just us. I'm fairly sure it's just us. Because it does say lightning strike tick. I think. No, reinforcements arrival time, less than a minute. Oh, okay. Uh... Alright, well I guess we'll worry about that next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.